Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022 as we continue our Journeyman Glory Hunter series, now in the fifth season overall of this challenge. This is our third season with Avangard Kursk, our first season in the Russian Premier League, though. Um, so, going to be some good stuff, hopefully, but uh, we got our, our, our season's going to start off a bit, <laughs> a bit rough. Let's hope we can get some sort of result, just a point out of these first two games, and I think I'd be pretty happy. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in a game, and I wanted to, I forgot to show this at the end of the last episode, but we'll go ahead and check this out real quick. Our expected finish is going to be 15th place right now. They are not expecting us to do better than Velas. Uh, we're basically on evens with Chaika. Don't know. We're going to see what happens. Uh, apparently, Torpedo Moscow is actually pretty low here, uh, but Dynamo Moscow expected to be second. Um, so a couple of the Moscows that we'll be playing early on. So we're playing Torpedo Moscow first, which we might actually get a decent result against this one as a home game. Dynamo Moscow, we're expected to basically lose that one, quite frankly. Um, and that's about it for that. Yeah, I mean, this is just, this is it. I mean, we're, we're just, we're making so much less money than anybody else. There's really not much hope for us to do much of anything. But let's get right into this. Here's the team we're bringing today. Uh, Harker is currently uh, suspended, so we cannot play him. So Galachan comes in for him. And there start the yawns of the football manager yawns. So there you go. You have to like the video because of the yawn in the video. That's that's how it works. Uh, we got Chad Grov and Go, Vorpev and Kovalev on the outer wings. Uh, Stoyer and Shunin in the central defender roles. Valerio, new guy Valerio, and Kakuev playing midfield uh, with Mikolov playing advanced playmaker ahead of them. Uh, Zeleznov and Malkanduev playing on the attacking wings. And of course, Galajan playing as a striker. So not a lot of changes in the team today. Well, looks like we're playing a backup goalkeeper today. So fun there, I guess. But what are you going to do? Let's let's hope for some sort of result in this first game. Home game. You know what would be good? Just to get a win in this game. Just to get a few points just in our in our belt. You know, kind of get those to carry on a little bit. Because I don't expect we're going to win very many games. I don't expect we're going to draw very many games. If we can get a win against a potentially winnable team, then maybe, maybe we have a chance to save off some relegation. We got to get the, we got to steal those wins where we can. Uh, because we've got four teams that we've got to get ahead of. But I'm not holding up much hope. I think this is going to be a pretty rough season. Hopefully the fans enjoy the one season in the Premier League. I think this team gets relegated again. But maybe not. We'll see. I've, I've done good stuff against odds before. Um... Here comes the highlight for Torpedo Moscow right away. Looked like it was going to go for us, but they took it away pretty quickly there. A lot of fans in the stands for our, for our team today. Uh, so if nothing else, hopefully we get some decent wages or different decent uh, ticket prices for that. Torpedo Moscow being very, very patient. There they go. Here comes the attack. Should not have let them have that goal. I mean... I'm okay with like let them score like a really good smart goal. I really don't know that they should they should have scored that one. I think I think a goalkeeper should have been able to stop that one. I mean it didn't have a ton of power. Maybe it was deceptively fast, but I still think the goalkeeper should should have been able to stop that one. All right, we got to throw in here deep and. Our side of the field, though, so hopefully this doesn't result in a quick takeaway from us. It's Mikolov. Terrible pass. I don't even know what that was. Shouldn't have been able to come up with that one, though. There's Mikolov again. Now he tries to get another. Mikolov just decided that he wants to pass to the other team. Apparently, he's playing for the other team, and we did not know that. All right, there's a bit of a save there. There's that highlight, I guess. I mean, our stats aren't terrible, but we're missing the one key stat, obviously. Oh, there we go. Come on. Uh, nope. Not any good there. There's Mikolov. Stoyer with the ball. Shunin now. Gets it up to the other team. What is with this? Like, what are we doing? I'm not playing Route 1 or anything. 
We're supposed to be going down the wings. Like I've legitimately have that instruction that says, go down the right and left side, guys. And they're just bombing b balls up the middle. I have no idea what they're doing. No idea what they're doing. They're costing us this game. Any chance we might have had this game is is just getting thrown away because they're not following the game plan. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. It's a bit disappointing, to be honest. I'd say if it wasn't for the fact that we've only got one new player, I'd be like, oh, well, they've just not got the cohesion that they need. But no, this is literally the same team we had last year. Only one change in the formation, which is going from a defensive midfielder to attacking midfielder. Everybody else should be doing exactly what they did. So a little, little, again, I, I would have been fine with, I mean, a draw in this game. I mean, it's a good team. Don't get me wrong, but. We should not be losing the way we are. Not not with giving up goal, balls like we are. Just passing them right to them. That's just... I don't know. Don't know what to say about that. Uh, how many subs do we get in this league? I actually don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to check here in a second. All right. Makanduev playing terribly. We'll bring Mazarov in for him. And everybody's playing terribly. Mikolov, yeah, I mean, we definitely want to get him out of here, I think. We'll bring Georgie in. And we'll go with that for now. If we only get three subs, then I guess we'll find out here in a minute. It's Kovalev. Deep kick up. I mean, at least this time Galogen got free, but... Like, there was nothing... There was, that was it. Like, what were you doing? Looks like he was passing it to the goalkeeper, not even trying for a shot. It's like no sense of urgency amongst the guys other than like, I don't want the ball. Let me just kick it to the other team real quick. Like, what are these over the top passes? I don't, I need to check that here in a second. I mean, we got a goal from it to be fair, but I still don't like it. I don't like what we were doing there. Um, focus play down the right, focus play down the left. I mean, I get slightly more direct on the passing, but, and pass into space. Maybe that's, maybe it's the pass into space. I'm going to turn off the pass into space. Um, I mean, yeah, we got a goal. I, I'm not going to say it didn't work a little bit, but I just, I'm not especially happy with the way we're trying to go about this. I mean, if we we're playing route one, fine, bomb it over the top, but that's, that was not what I told him to do. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's going to be uh, offsides. It looks like it might be an offsides. Oh, they're going to check the VAR. I forgot we had VAR in this league. Disallowed. Oh, yeah. Their entire team is offsides. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, good stuff. All right, we're getting another highlight right away. It's Kovalev and Mazarov. Over to Kovalev. They're shooting, passing to somebody again. I'm not sure who. Destroyer. Come on, guys. Or Pev across. There's Galagen. Not able to get to that one. Oh, Zeliznov. You got to score those. You got to. We're not going to get a lot of those chances. You've got to make them count. Oh boy. All right. Um, Galagen is just exhausted and injured. Okay. We'll bring Klimov in here. I'm actually going to change Klimov into a targeting forward. And if we get another transfer, or, or transfer, uh, substitute, do we? Nope, just three. Okay, good to know. Now we know. I'm still okay with Klimov coming in here, obviously with uh, Galgen being hurt, but it is definitely good to know that. Uh, and I'm going to move this up to attacking, and we're going to go demand more. Another highlight here. Can we draw this game back? That would be that would be basically a win for us. Did I mention that every single day of this season I'm gonna be looking for another job?
Man. Well then. And a penalty. Well, it's a great start to the season. I want to go home now. <laughs> I don't like it. I want to go home. And the fans are loud. I just wanted to turn that down earlier. Man. This is supposed to be one of the teams we had a chance of at least getting a draw against. It's only going to get worse from here, guys. <laughs> only going to get worse from here. Oh, man. The uh, the ref has blocked more goals than our goalkeeper has. Well, then. That was painful. I mean, it, we didn't look terrible. We just looked terrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I mean, we, we were like, we had some decent stats outside of the goals, but the goals were the ones that are important, right? So, oh, goodness, man, what a terrible way to start this season. All right, well, Galagen is injured for a couple of days. Thankfully, we'll have Harker back for the next game. We will be back here in a second for game number two, which will most likely be even worse than that one. We'll see. All right, we're back for game number two here. We did get one more transfer coming in. Uh, we got Mr. Turnbull here coming in on a free transfer. Uh, he comes in three and a half star current, three and a half star potential. I mean, he's basically, thir he's 30 years old. He's at his cap more or less, but just another solid, hopefully, uh, left back, uh, central defender, defensive midfielder, could technically play midfield center if we need him to. A little bit of uh, flexibility there. Not the most amazing stats in the world, but not terrible playing in Skype at League One. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what he can do. Just just somebody else to bring in here just to give us a little bit more options, a little more rotation, things like that. And that's about it. I think that's that's all we can do. We're we're very much at our we're actually over cap right now. We may have to get rid of offload a couple of players. We'll see what we can do with that. But today, here's the team we're bringing today against Dynamo Moscow. Chagrov and Go Vorpev Kovalev on the outer wings. Turnbull does come in here into the central defender role alongside Kakoev, uh, Valerio Simer in, in the midfield. Zelznov, Malkanduev on the wings with Mikolov in the advanced playmaker role and, and Galagen in front of him. Uh, Harger is mostly back, although he did just get injured as well right after coming back from his suspension. So we're going to set him out again. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, no, I, there's one job for Nottingham Forest in Skybet League One right now. I mean, it's it's a better league than Russian First Division. So if, if we know for sure we're getting relegated, it technically does set us up for a better future, but I don't know if it's really moving us forward the way I want it to. So I'm not I'm not sure if that's the level of desperation we're at right now. Because playing a season in Premier League is probably better than playing a season in um Skybet League One. I, I I don't know. It's actually a really tough call on that one. Uh they they, they do have a little bit more money coming into them than Avangard Kursk. Not not significantly though. And there we are. We're already down one nothing to Dynamo Moscow. Although it looks like it might be getting called back, but obviously this is this is kind of how we expect this game to go. I mean, if we if we get any result out of this game, I would be shocked. Oh, goal was awarded. Never mind. Goal does stand. Yeah, I mean, as far as they went to VAR, looks fine to me. Another, goodness, they keep getting these free kicks that are setting them up for some good highlights. Another highlight for Dynamo Moscow. 
throwing me off though because they're in the blue kits and we're usually in the blue kits. So, oh, there we go. There's, uh, nope, not able to get to that one, unfortunately. Man, just, we just don't have the budget to get the players that can play at this level. I mean, the fact that we got promoted at all is, 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 is the win. We have won the world by getting promoted. That's it. Done. That's, that's all this team will probably ever be able to do. I mean, I'd love to be wrong, and I'm not trying to be a downer. It's just looking at the overall, like, wages for these players is just insane. and it's not even so much that if i at least had a little bit of wage to get some players in for myself great kick great goal for mikolov if i had some wages to get a couple more players in myself if i would be able to get like five six seven eight players something like that that i thought were like a good step up then yeah okay i might be a little at least a little bit more hopeful right now barely scraping by three players one of which was one of the players we had on loan last season so technically he doesn't really count because we had him last season so Two new players this season does not is not going to cut it. That wouldn't cut it in the same league, I don't think. I don't think we could win the first division with just getting two new players in. Two new players that are yet granted both starting right now, but are they like significantly better than the players we had there? I don't think so. I mean, I think they're good, and I think they are worth playing, but it's just they're not significantly better than what we had. For the record, I'm not going to subject you guys to this season if it's just going to be loss after loss after loss. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll still show some games because that's kind of the point. I don't want to sit here and play an entire season offline and not be able to put up some YouTube videos. I need to make, I need to be able to put up some videos, right? I've got to at least get, at least i got to pay the bills, so to speak. So, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, we might be a bit more aggressive with how far we, we progress between each one. This season, or this this um, this year's Glory Hunter feels quite a bit harder than last year's. Just not getting the uh, attention that I got last uh, la uh, last version of Football Manager. Looks like it's going to be a penalty shot. I mean, we're following a similar path, although we started in Russia last time, but we made it to we made it to France uh, pretty quickly, and. Um, just feels like we're going to be a little bit behind this time around. And the fact that we keep getting shut down on coaching, continue our coaching career or coaching uh, training is really frustrating. I'm okay with playing some of these lower teams, but just, you know, so we can develop up our coaching training a bit, but they've shut us down completely. Every time I've asked, in fact, they got so bad in the last meeting that they threatened to fire me if I pushed it even further. And I, was well, this close to just saying, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just let's just go for it and just take the take the sit and and stand stand our ground for something that. I mean, I get that they want to say that they don't have the finances for it, but I mean, still, I feel like I've proved myself enough that they should at least be rewarding me a little bit. Took a team that was fighting against relegation in the first division and had them winning the league the very next season. I mean, come on. Which more can do have Kakowe with the ball? We could get, at least get a a uh, consolation goal here. Zeloznov, back over to nobody. Nope, we're not. Nope, no consolation go. More of a, uh, uh, let's put the pressure on a little bit more go. Let's, let's rub it in your face a bit. Does it even have to, we just had to have time, didn't we? Yeah, okay. I was like, have we had half time yet? Let's, let's get this game over with. Can I turn on time wasting when we're down six to one? Is that, is that a strategy? Turn on time wasting. Mm. 
Now we're making this easy for him. Real easy for him. Whew, okay. Well, we got lucky there. <laughs> they should have scored on that one. They're just playing around having fun at this point. I'm happy with what we did last season. I was really, really hoping we could leverage that into something else. And maybe we could have if I had um, if I had settled for a slightly lower team. But I, I don't think that's moving forward, is it? Like, is a slightly lower team in a lower league, like a League One or a... Um, yeah, I just don't think that that would have been good, right? I think I think we've got to be getting like Skybit Championship or higher, uh, that kind of type of thing. I mean, I didn't expect to get into one of the premier leagues, uh, one of the top leagues in one of these other uh, nations, but I did think we had a decent chance of getting in one of the second leagues. All right, we'll knock, do a sub real quick. Um, everybody's having a bad game, so what do you expect? Mr. New Guy Turnbull. I mean, he doesn't know the language, to be fair, but... Man, I don't think we can really blame him for the fact that they're up so well. I mean, come on. They're just obviously a significantly better team than us. They're only, you know, making 20 times more money or spending 20 times more money than we are on their salaries. So, you know, that's all. Where's, what's the what's the score for the mercy roll? I mean, what, it goes ten to one. Do they call the game? I mean, I know they don't, but can can we ask for them to call the game, please? Our guys are just not fit as well. I mean, they've been. Really, really pushed to the limit here. Thirty four shots. Wow, crazy. I mean, we're, we're effectively an amateur team playing in a professional league. And we're going to get a, potentially a shot here from this penalty. I went back. That's something, I guess. Not really. It's not anything. <laughs> We're still four, five goals by, back. Getting a con that, that that is a consolation goal right there. Another highlight. Wow. In this game, guys, come on. Red card. I'm not going to make it. There's no point. I mean, yeah, sure, it opens up a little bit in the midfield, but who cares at this point? All right, there we go. 7-2. You know, I mean, we knew it was going to be pretty bad. Maybe I didn't think it was going to be quite that bad, but... And mostly, I was kind of hoping to win or to get a result against Torpedo Moscow. That's probably the disappointing one. I knew this was going to be a blowout. Hoping for something against Torpedo Moscow. All right, well, there's that. Uh, like I said, not anything showing up in the job center, really. Just the Nottingham Forest one. Um, I'm in League One, which is a higher league than the Russian division, first division, but is quite a bit of a step down from where we're at right now because we're in the ninth best league right now in the Premier League. So 
But Nottingham Forest does have a slightly better um, finances, I believe, or at least secure financially. Uh, still only two and a half star reputation, which I believe we are as well. Yes, we are. So not really a step up in reputation. So maybe that's enough reason right there to, to skip that one, ignore that one, not go too crazy with just trying to grab whatever we can do to get out of here. Um, they just got relegated from the championship two seasons ago. So that's something at least. They, they definitely look like they are, you know, a decent championship team here and there. I don't know. Something to think about. I, I probably won't, but let me know what you would have done in the comments below. By the time I see it, I probably will have already made the decision or this job would have already passed us by. But let me know what you would have done in this situation. Would you go to Nottingham Forest, it's League One, or would you stay the course and try and find a better job somewhere down the road? We'll see. But uh, next game you guys are going to see probably going to be a ways. Unless we start, something crazy happens. Um, it will probably be, we'll probably skip the rest of August entirely for sure. Possibly even September. We may come back in October. I may skip like do every other month or something like that. Try to breeze through this a little bit quicker. It really depends on how far I decide to get before I, you know, want to show something else. We'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.